It's all about this, a canal that Haitian farmers are digging to divert the Massacre River, which runs along the border with the Dominican Republic. The farmers say they're desperate. We need this water for our crops. We won't be pressured out of it by anyone. It's life or death. But the Dominican Republic is not happy. Officials said the canal goes against a treaty signed more than 90 years ago, prohibiting each country from altering the course of the river. Early Friday morning, the Dominican president took the rare step of closing the border by land, sea and air until there's a resolution over the canal. The border will be closed for as long as is necessary. The Army, Navy and Air Force are ready to fulfill this order. Meanwhile, we are still in talks with the Haitian government. The Haitian government released a statement saying that it could decide on the exploitation of its natural resources and had complete right to access the river. But the border closure will hit both countries hard, especially Haiti. It's by far the poorest of the two. More than half the population is at risk of starving, according to the United Nations, and many people depend on cross-border trade. More than 25% of Haiti's recorded imports come from the Dominican Republic. Bad, bad, it's bad for us. The problem we have is that we don't know why. Why are things like this? Meanwhile, those who are digging the canal are defiant. On Thursday, they launched an impromptu protest of their own. They say that there are already 11 canals on the Dominican side. They don't respect us and they take us as vandals. But the river is for the two of us, 50% for them and 50% for us. We are defending our environment, we are defending our territory and the population needs our help to build the canal. And brick by brick, despite the border closure, they're carrying on. John Holman, Al Jazeera. Wildfires are burning. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.